Um, so I just wanted to say first congratulations Thank with your you. Dear for Stars um, and for this great show. I mean, you bring such a genuine and unique voice and as wonderfully depicted in Vita. So I just want to say congratulations with that. Um, these characters in this narrative is so important um, because, you know, whether or not viewers realize this, what they see on the TV screen and in the movie theater directly affects their perspectives and the way that they think. Yes. Yes. And so I was wondering, what did you want your viewers to take away from your story? What's your core theme? Well, I just want to address what you just said. When um, We've been kept away from the narrative for so long that you, like, we haven't been able to affect culture, right. you know? Because, when, like you said, like, you affect perspective. When we are, like, let's say if you see, if you see us enough times as, like, Supreme Court judges or, like, just lawyers or, like, in positive light, then you sort of, like, it, it's sort of injected in your in your brain when you're you're not a Latino, and then you accept, oh, a Latino Supreme Court. Well, we do have one, but you know, like, yes. but but that that it affects culture, it affects perception. You're so right, mm -hmm. and for so long we haven't gotten a chance to do that. You know, right. I'm sorry. What question did you ask? But I was like, I like what you said. Oh, I was just. Well, what did you want your viewers to take away from your story? What's your core theme? Well, family, right? Right. Family and and these girls finding their true selves, which is universal. It, it's not, that's not just a Latinx story. That's that's a very female story and not a human story. Right. Um, but I did craft this for two tracks. I crafted for non-Latinx, um, and if, it's sort of with uni the universal themes of family and and coming back home and and reclaiming yourself and the the, the queerness of it, or also you know coming back to old loves and old bad habits, you know, mm -hmm. and and for Latinx and a lot of the code switching moments, um, a lot of the terms, pocha, uh, the way we look, the way Mari looks, the way Eddie looks, the, they're dedicated to us too. Right. We have not gotten a chance to see us in this light and you know, I'm speaking as a Latina. Right. Um, and so that that was really satisfying to be able to like portray that. But also, you know, I, I think this show deserves a wider audience too. Mm -hmm. It's not a niche show, it's a, it's a show about family. Right. Yes. Um, so I wanted to ask um, for, for about your story, and because the story is so unique, even though it does have these universal tropes, um, how did the story come to you? How, how, like, what inspired you for this story? Well, stars inspired me for this story. They um, introduced the notion of gentrification to me, which is uh, a gentrification of a Latinx space by another Latinx. And I was like, that's fascinating. Right. That's right, we're doing the gentr gentrifying, you know? So exploring that was the pilot. Um, they also showed me this short story, and they were like, "You can, ba you know, you can take anything you want." You know, there was an, uh, an LA Times article too about gentrification. I was like, "Take from this, can you write a pilot?" And I was like, "Yes, if I just hold on to the story of these two sisters, mm -hmm. who, and who have lost their mother." Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you just hold on to the humanity of that, you can color the world, you know, and 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 and, and include the themes of, of gentrification in practice because they are becoming, you know, they will in practice become gentifiers. So like, mm -hmm. but it's it, it, it is obviously about that, but really what it's about, it's these two sisters sort of coming back together after being distant. So um, they were, uh, stars was the ones who pitched it to me. Oh, yep. okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so you, you ran with them, made this great series, that's awesome. Well, I held on, I put a little bit of myself in all the characters, you know, right. so that I could just keep being invested in it, you know? So right. like, there's a little bit of me and Eddie, there's a little bit of me of Mari, you know? Like, whenever <laughs> a cost like riles me up. Um, and then there's very much of me and either sister, which is not proud to say, but yes. yes. Um, what scene um, are you most excited for your fans to see? Oh my God, that's like, um, like uh, my kids, like all the scenes, all the <laughs> scenes are great. Um, you know which scene is one of my favorites in the whole movie? It's when the sisters, it's in um, the, have you seen? Yes. Have you seen the third episode? And the sisters finally sit down. She's eating grapes. One of the sisters, and they share grapes. Yeah. And she shows her the she shows her like the person she just had sex with, and with that, she opens up the oh oh I see you. And she and the Emma lets her her sister see her mm -hmm. when she's been not letting anybody see her. You know. Right. And yeah. it's not that she was in the closet or anything. It's just like we don't talk. And she says. We should, that's a shame. We should talk about things, you know? Yes. And it's like such a beautiful sister. The two actresses did an amazing job, but mm -hmm. they have such chemistry because if, you, if you've met them, they are actual friends, you know? Yes. <laughs> so, like, they're lovely. And so, and that, I love that scene. I could watch it forever. Yes, it was really endearing.